My name is Pat Tracy and I work as an artist. How long have you been an artist for? I've been an artist since I was four. Oh, it's just something you do. People do need to do things, you know. So you have to do. It's a have to do. It's kind of a curse in a way because you don't. It's not. You need to do it. It has to be done. Like. You can't ignore it. If you ignore it, it builds up inside you, and it just. It's, I, I ignored it for twenty years, and all it did is make you frustrated and unhappy. I think an artist has to be himself, has to be his own thing, doing his own stuff in his own way. But I think what's inside people deserves to, you know, to paint that type of stuff. Emotional stuff. Love, hate, deception, worry, all that type of stuff. You know? If you can take all that stuff out and put it on the canvas. Because you're painting something that's universal, you know. And once you start painting emotions and things about emotions, it's quite universal. So a guy who, in China will get the same thing from your painting as a guy in Alaska, you know. Usually what happens with a, with a picture or a painting that I think of is, is that a thought will come through. I, I drive, I'll be driving up the road or up the street in a car and I'll see something. And I remember one particular thing. I've seen this old woman crossing the road in front of me and she was after coming out of the church. So it struck me that she, she was, for some reason or other, that she was holding on to something, that she, she was something I didn't have, like, but she was kind of grasping on to this type of thing, she, her, her, her religion or her, her whatever she had, you know. And that builds an image in your head then. You start thinking, well, well, how can you put that down, this bit of emotion or this bit of kind of strange feeling that you have about this particular woman, you know. And what happens is you, you, get, you grab a piece of paper and you, and, and you start scribbling and you see what happens. Like, And in this particular image, I had an angel in the sky and there was a rope and she was holding on to her angel. That was her angel. That was her, her hope, her bit of world, her bit of, 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 of comfort, you know? Her mind are all around her, then there's hoodies and the world and all this, that and the other. But that's how it kind of builds up. A thought comes into your head about something or somebody. You can be having your breakfast, you can be watching television. Out of the blue, it can come and, and hit you like, you know? And when it does, you have to get it down on a piece of paper. Any piece of paper. And when you have it down, then you fool around with it. It might get to a painting, and it might not. But they're great. That's the way they come, you know. They're not preconceived. They're not, you know, you're not sitting down there writing lists of what will I paint. You wait, and, and it comes. A painting will come nice and slowly, quietly. It'll just tip to it, or sometimes it'll come up and it'll hit you over the head. The nice thing about being here is the fact that you have air and scenery and views and peace and quiet, you know, which is nice because there's no distractions, you know, there's no one coming knocking on your door every five minutes, you know, there's no traffic going by you, you know, sometimes I, I paint in the way here and you, you might have the radio on and you hear the red cow roundabout is, you know, blocked up to this, you know, and you just smile to yourself because you don't have that distraction. And I work beside the house, so I, there's no traffic, there's no rat race. You know, you can concentrate on what you're doing. They're great, they're great support. I mean, the family is fantastic. I mean, Kay, my wife Kay is just great, you know. I mean, she just gets on with things and, you know, I could spend 10 hours here at night painting and it's not where are you or what you're doing or, you know. So it's, it's nice, the family is good support, yeah. You're, you're all the time changing, constantly, constantly changing. Because you, 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 you your style, will, you'll never be happy with it because if you're happy with it, you stop. If I do a painting and I say, well, God, that's perfect, why would I do another one? <laughs>